I've been working in the Athletes Village now since 2008 to actually see a master plan carried through to physical completion across an 88 acre site is, is really quite something. Uh, for the Commonwealth Games, for the athletes to live in temporary bases, they'll move in then to a village for, for residential after the Games. 700 houses, 120 bed care home. Never has there been a development of this scale. This has changed the area forever. It's been a massive project, very ambitious project for all parties involved and we're heading towards successful completion of that over the next few months. It's, 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 it's fantastic. Consortium has been up with four uh, principal partners, uh, with Taggart Mikko, CCG, Crudens and WH Malcolm. Four long-standing reputable companies in Scotland with a fantastic track record. We worked very successfully together. That formed a group that I think is fairly unique in our industry. I, and it's also formed a basis for a group that could do more. We've managed to achieve it as consortium partners, but importantly, we've worked with a huge number of other people uh, from the City Council uh, right down to our supply chain. We had David Cameron, the Prime Minister, drop by to see the village. Uh, we're delighted to show him around. That demonstrates the national importance of the Athletes' Village for the United Kingdom and for Scotland. It's important when you're doing a development of this size and scale that you actually give something back to the area you're working. We were set within the brief targets to be achieved in terms of work placements and apprenticeships. We've far exceeded those figures and that's something we're all very proud of. We've also managed to create real regeneration, real employment uh, and also provide training for young people uh, so they've got a secure future in construction which we believe in uh, very passionately. The delivery of the Athletes Village has been career defining for me and it's a, a colossal achievement for everyone that's been involved uh, to work as part of the, the consortium, four indigenous Glasgow companies. Uh, we really have created a, a, a destination that will be a legacy for Glasgow, a new urban quarter. This is certainly our largest joint venture to date, um, but it's been a real pleasure because uh, we've also built lasting relationships, real excitement, real joy, uh, and we're delighted to be part of it. This is about the society living here after the Games, the true legacy. The Emirates Arena, the Chris Hoy Velodrome right across the road, it's just a complete transformation of, of how it was before. And uh, it will be interesting to see the project carried into its legacy phase where there are a further 750 houses to be built and that will present its own challenges but that will come with community services and hopefully a, a new primary school for the area. Um, that for me, if the city can deliver it, would only serve to consolidate the hard work uh, that we've put into the project and ensure that the community is, is truly brought together. I'm absolutely delighted to have been part of a project which is giving so much to the city I live in. Working with other Scottish contractors to deliver a project which is unique not only for Scotland but possibly in the world.